Cloudflare are now providing a DNS service, and what DNS does is convert a human-readable internet address, say cloudflare.com, into an IP address, something which your computer will connect to over the internet. It is an essential service because, let's face it, humans are not great at remembering long strings of numbers. Well, in particular, IPv6 addresses, I've got no chance there, don't know about the rest of you, but yeah. They're advertising the service as having a very fast response speed. This is down to aggressive caching and global coverage throughout various data centers, so odds are you're going to be very close to a Cloudflare data center. There is no charge for it, and the IP addresses they're using is 1.1.1.1 and a backup address of 1.0.0.1, so very memorable. So the performance they're suggesting a 12 millisecond average DNS lookup speed. I have been using Cloudflare DNS for the past couple of days and yeah, found it perfectly fine. Doesn't seem intrusive at all and it just gets on with the job. There's a mention here about DNS security. Now I can't help but wonder if one factor they've done this is to provide protection for any business and enterprise customers which are under attack from, let's say, hosts maliciously trying to attack a particular website because Cloudflare could divert the IP straight away. It may be that they can provide a better service for their customers. There is a mention here about DNS analytics, and it does suggest that they are collecting data. Now, I'll go on to more of this in another article, but yeah, if the level of data they're collecting is like that, showing the number of queries, well, let's say from a particular country, or just the number of queries in general, well, that's not personal data, that cannot be attributed to you specifically, so yeah, that's not really too much of a problem to do that sort of thing. The mention of analytics and login may be one reason why people want to change a DNS provider. If you're concerned about what your internet service provider is doing, logging the data and potentially sending it off, well, on the other hand, DNS traffic is unencrypted and your internet service provider could see that data anyway. A better reason for doing it is to get a faster response speed or be able to access sites which may be blocked by your ISP. Now this article here from the register, they do state that Cloudflare is sharing DNS query data with APNIC Labs, part of the Asian registry APNIC, in exchange for use of its 1.1.1.1 network address. The regional internet registry insists it wants to better understand the technical intricacies of DNS in order to mitigate denial of service attacks and to optimise server communication. The research relationship is set to run for at least five years, after which it may be renewed and APNIC will consider permanently allocating the 1.1.1.1 and 1.0.0.1 IP addresses to Cloudflare. And there is also a mention that Cloudflare do have two IPv6 internet addresses. Okay, so that is perhaps a bit concerning, but they are saying that they will destroy all raw DNS data as soon as they have performed statistical analysis on the data flow. We will not be compiling any forms of profiles of activity that could be used to identify individuals, and we will ensure that any retained process data is sufficiently generic that it will not be susceptible to efforts to reconstruct individual profiles. Hmm. And talking about logging, well, that is something that Google most likely do on their 8.8.8.8 .8 DNS service. Well, let's face it, Google make their money from tracking users and selling advertisement to users. At least Cloudflare do make their money from other means, selling services for DDoS protection, distributed denial of service attacks, as well as whatever other features you do get with the service. I can't think of them all off the top of my head in this video. But I have to say, whatever happens, it's certainly a lot better than the Quad 9 DNS service, the 9.9.9.9 which is operated by the City of London Police. I would not touch that DNS service provider with a 10-foot barge pole, as one would say. Yeah, I don't fancy the plod showing up on my doorstep just because of some DNS resolution my computer has been requiring. So take a look at the speed response of some of this. So just using the open DNS service first. So. Not great, but I think this is some of the issue with my own computer in general. I have to say I've been quite a fan of OpenDNS. They do provide a bit more than just name resolution. They do provide blocking of malware sites, or those that they know about. Well, okay, that certainly wasn't 40 milliseconds when I was playing around earlier. I was getting better speeds than this. So that is Google's DNS server 
God, this is appalling what I'm getting, isn't it? Now let's try 1.1.1.1. And in comparison, that is at least quicker than the other services that I've used. So while it may not be the 11 milliseconds, it is at least faster than OpenDNS and Google. Let's change domain and take a look at that. So let's say google.com, and this should be very popular and readily cached. So that's what I'm hoping, but, in, but it's not really much difference in comparison on timing. If I was to travel further, say to Russia using Yandex, we can see the query time jumps up massively. So that would be quite a detriment to my internet surfing if I was to use that. And let's throw in another one for uncensored DNS and well, that's more mid-range on the timing. So yeah, that's just what my experience is. Compared to the other DNS service providers, it is at least quicker, but you may get something slower or faster. That was a look at Cloudflare's offering of a DNS service. Thanks for watching. See you all later.